Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to probably be a quick video. I just wanted to give put this out. I know the solar um, eclipse was yesterday, um, but I received some downloads yesterday about it, some new downloads on it, and I wanted to pass it on to you guys of what was actually coming through on that solar eclipse. Uh, wow. Okay. So the eclipse energies, this particular eclipse season are extremely intense. Uh, eclipses tend to bring crisis events. Um, when it's a lunar eclipse, it's happening within us. When it's a solar eclipse, it's happening outside of us. So this particular solar eclipse that happened yesterday on the summer solstice, which also happened to be Father's Day. And I started receiving these downloads on all the synchronicities of this particular solar eclipse. It's happening at the zero degrees of cancer, zero degree, the zero point field. Um, cancer being the home of, or the, the house that represents home, parents and children relationships, feeling safe, um, feeling loved. And also um, it represents the, um, deeper subconscious parts of us. So all of this information kind of coming in. Uh, I received some new downloads about it that I didn't get to talk about in my alchemy program with you guys last Sunday uh, because, well, it just literally came in yesterday. Now, I did share um, these, this info with you guys in my alchemy program in the Facebook group. So you guys kind of know some of this, and I'm going to read to you guys what I wrote because I literally it was downloading into me as I was writing it into the group. So just quickly, let's go over the solar eclipse because it's really bringing up a lot. Um, with it being the zero point field, I was told that and shown that it's an opportunity here to bring in massive amounts of healing to um, a zero point field is how we uh, jump timelines. A zero point field is how we neutralize things to shift our reality into one that is more positive for us. And with the synchronicity happening on Father's Day, uh, I let everyone in the alchemy group know that, um, that while we're experiencing crisis outside of us, so perhaps it'll be events outside of us that are triggering things within us, uh, things that are related to father-child issues okay so whether you're a father and have a child or as you were a child and had issues with your father long ago certain issues around this were going to be starting to surface for you in how do you feel safe what are your roots in this world um, what are you rooted in and is it aligned to your new truth because the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius a couple weeks ago was initiating all of this and it was bringing to the surface the truths that no longer align with us, past belief systems, all of that that are no longer aligned to the truths that are emerging within us. So this solar eclipse, I just want to read to you the download that I received was I said that um, a lot of the crisis globally we are seeing is due to the reduced value of the father in the child's life that has been pushed on our society through social engineering. But through this exposure brings an uprising of the divine masculine and the father principles back to center stage. This will help heal the collective father energies and bring the father archetype back into the needs of the child and family values, which, you know, any of us who are awakened can see how much the family values have been destroyed um, over the last few decades. And this is part of the dark agenda, the part of the plan to break up the family unit so that we don't have roots Okay, we don't know where we're rooted. And that's what this whole solar eclipse is kind of bringing in. When you don't have roots, you don't know where you belong and you don't know where you feel safe. Okay, and that, that, idea, of, that idea of floating, um, not having those roots of wandering, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, temporary wandering and needing to, to figure things out, but it's, there needs to be a sense of rooting. Uh, in order for you to know where you belong. And if you don't know where you belong, it creates a lot of um, discord within uh, on a soul level and can lead to a lot of loneliness, uncertainty, confusion, which what happens when someone's confused, they don't make clear decisions. They don't see things clearly and therefore become paralyzed through their confusion in order to take proper action to, um, to get them out of whatever situation they be in that 
would bring them into a more positive place, okay? So what this uh, solar eclipse was doing was activating a healing portal to bring in back the father principles, the divine masculine energy, back into the fold, uh, activating within the DNA uh, for everyone, whether you're aware of it or not. Uh, this was happening through this eclipse energy. Um, and it is meant to restore and heal what has been socially engineered out of us pretty much. So it's reversing <laughs> the social engineering of devaluing the father in the family unit. And we see this a lot. We see how this has destroyed communities um, when the father is not valued. We see how the court system is heavily skewed to the mother and not the father. That being said, I want to make it clear that the, there are unfortunately deadbeat dads out there who have left the mother with the child to fend for herself and raise the child herself. But there have also been deadbeat mothers out there who've left the father to raise the child by um, himself. And unfortunately, the systems right now are in place to that devalue the father's role. And the father's role is very important, just as important as the mother's role. And we're bringing that back in. Remember back in May, the May energies, I told you guys, it was the rising of the divine masculine energy. We're going to continue to see that throughout this year. The divine masculine energy is on a rise and the solar eclipse was helping to solidify. It was bringing in more anchor points into the DNA to activate the healing of the father principle. Principles. All right, so that's kind of just one, one of the downloads I wanted to give you guys. I have another video that I'm going to release tomorrow on um, another star alignment happening this week that um, is going to be assisting the invisible enemy to become visible. And I love this. So stay tuned. That video is going to come out tomorrow. I'm actually going to record that next. So you're probably going to see me wearing the exact same thing. <laughs> Um, okay, guys, I love you so much. If you need any more information about me, head on over to my website, inflexibleme.com. I've got a newsletter there that you can sign up to um, to get all of the information sent right to your inbox. Um, don't forget to check out my podcast every Tuesday night. I'm now airing it at 8 p.m. Eastern on the YouTube channel. You'll be able to watch the video with me first, and then an hour after that, once it ends, it goes live into iTunes and Spotify if you prefer the audio version only. Uh, if you guys want to be part of my alchemy program where I go into a lot of these astrological alignments, I set, I let you guys know not just what's happening this month, but also looking into the future of what's coming up into the year so that you guys can be prepared and understand how the planetary energies are influencing us right now. Planetary energies don't mean it's bound to happen to you and that you have no, um, you have no power in your own decisions. What they do is they influence us and we can work with the energies in a certain way to help benefit us or we can work against them to create more havoc in our lives. Um, so knowing how the planetary energies are aligning, you can be more prepared for things that may pop up in your life and also understand what shadow work is coming up for a lot of us um, individually and collectively. All right. Um, and uh, all of that information is in the description below, guys. I love you so much. I'll be back with you tomorrow and um, we'll catch you then. All right, guys, stay uh Ah, stay grounded. It's so important to stay grounded. We're in, we're now leaving this eclipse energy over the next couple of days and you're going to be in the corridor of the eclipse. The corridors can tend to be a little bit more uh, disturbing than the actual eclipse itself. So just keep that in mind. Um, and we have our third and final eclipse coming up out of the season on July 4th, July 5th, depending where you are in the world. Ooh, that one's going to be good. All right, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you soon.